Hi, Yarn and Bees. How are you today? Guess what? Uh, I've had this now for a little while. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm sorry it's been so late. Try and get it to you, get it out to you. But I got the Sisterhood of the Traveling Hook back home. Hallelujah. Um, <clears throat> it's home, guys. I uh, I am so emotional about this. I got to get through this video. <laughs> okay, for those of you that are new, that have no idea what I'm talking about, I started this um, venture when COVID started, okay, and I called it the Sisterhood of the Traveling Hook. And what I did was I purchased two hooks uh, from Furls. They were streamlined furled hooks. And I sent them out to, I, I, I put a call out to YouTubers who wanted to get involved. And the whole basis for doing this was to bring our community closer together, right? In, in the beginning of COVID, there was mass panic. People were freaking out. Um, people were depressed. There was, unfortunately, suicides and um, people l losing loved ones from COVID and the heaviness around the world was felt by everyone. Okay. Um, I could sense and feel, I'm an empath. Um, I could sense and feel there was a shift in our community, okay? In our community, there was such dread. Uh, you could see it in people's videos. You could feel it. Um, the depression was severe. And I was in that. And so I really wanted to do something for our community that would get us connected again without actually being connected. So what I did was I, I put a hook, some stitch markers that I made, a book in there, um, a notebook in there so that people can make notes some Clorox wipes, uh, and I, and a note from me. And I, I wanted YouTubers to get involved. I would send off the hook and it was going to travel all through Canada, down through the States, around and up again. That was one hook. The other hook went all the way to Australia and traveled all around Australia. And I got the one from Australia back already. <clears throat> okay. And now I've got this hook back. Okay. It was the most amazing experience. Um, I have a playlist down below called The Sisterhood of the Traveling Hook. If you want to go back and take a look at all those videos, what I asked was for the recipient to do a video where they opened the hook, opened the package, showed the hook, talked about it. They had two weeks to make something with the hook, pack it all back up, contact me, put up their videos, and I would send them the next recipient's name. Um, some wonderful things happened, right? Uh, you know, they like, here's the other hook. Oh. This is the hook that went to Australia. I have not opened this yet because <clears throat> I wanted to have 
both the hooks in my hot little hand. And then I wanted to sit down and read both of the notebooks uh, and cry, <laughs> to be honest. Um, so here, one of, the one of the YouTubers actually made this little bed for the hook. And here is the hook that went to Australia. Um, she gave it a little blanket and a pillow. <laughs> I mean, that just, it blew my mind. <laughs> it absolutely blew my mind. And then in this bag, someone else had made, um, made a little carry-all for the hook. Because <clears throat> the boxes were, the boxes that the hooks were in were getting a little mangled. So anyway... Um, let's open it. <laughs> okay. So here we go. <clears throat> here is the Clorox wipes that I sent. Here's the note that I sent along to explain the rules. And here's the book. And in this book, everybody was writing down <clears throat> their thoughts, how they felt about the hook. Okay. And like another reason why I, I did this was because not a lot of people can afford a furls hook. Okay. Um, they're, they're a bit pricey, right? So I wanted to do the try before you buy, right? <clears throat> I wanted to be able to send these hooks out so that people could try them out. And if they like them, they could buy them. If they didn't like them, they won't waste their money. Right? So I was really, really happy with that. Oh, what's this? The last person that had this was Cabin Fever Crochet. Oh my God. I can't read this. <laughs> Sent me a little care package. I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> Okay, and here's the hook that she so wonderfully packaged to make sure that it didn't get wrecked. Here's the stitch markers that I sent. And here's the hook. <clears throat> See, a little, a little bed for this one was made as well. Okay, now, I'm going to get through this. <laughs> okay. Um. Being an empath, I feel a lot, okay? I knew when I got this back, emotions were going to explode, okay? Um, there was 25 or 27. Two people weren't able to make to, to do it. Um, so they had to be taken off the list. I think it was 25. I could be totally wrong. People through Canada and the US that touched this hook. Okay. 
<clears throat> I knew the emotions were going to really run high because of all the love that was in this hook. And I knew it was going to be overwhelming for me. I haven't even touched the hook yet. I've just taken it out of the package. It's right here. And I'm already feeling it. Okay. <clears throat> um, so... Here it is. Okay. <clears throat> I got to put it back in here. Um, I want to say thank you for to everyone who joined in on this and made it so special. Um, not everybody liked the hook, which is absolutely fine. That was the whole purpose of this <clears throat> was to, to give people the chance to try it out. Right. So some people loved it. Some people hated it. Some people were indifferent. Um, but the fact that Everybody had such a good time doing this uh, meant the world to me. This, this was what it was all about, was to, to bring us all together again. And it was a, a year-long journey. This was not just something that it was just like, oh, yeah, it's been a few months. No, this was a, a whole year journey that this hook took. This hook took? <laughs> um <clears throat> The one from Australia didn't take as long. I wanted to send it. To Sorry about that, guys. I don't know what just happened, but my phone just went all wonky on me. It just, wow, the energy that just swirled around in here. My phone just completely, yeah, <laughs> that was weird. Okay, um. Anyways, um, where was I? I? I had planned on sending the Australia hook to um, England or the UK, um, but I couldn't find anybody out there that wanted to do it, um, which was unfortunate. But from what I understand, it would have taken at least a month or two just to get there. So... It's like, okay. <laughs> so it came back home. Um, but yeah, holy cow. It's home, guys. It's home. Um, I, I just thank you all so, so much for, for making this special. Um, it's... It served its purpose. Um, and I'm just glad that everybody enjoyed it so much. Am I going to be doing this again? I don't know. I, I haven't decided that yet. Because uh, I had I did have people ask about it. If they were if I was going to do it for this year. Um, it was a big undertaking. Uh, <clears throat> especially, you know, for everybody involved. Um, but I don't know. I have I, I probably not, but because, because I, the whole purpose of it was to get everybody through the pandemic, right. And to have people reaching out to each other in a way that can't be done over on video. Right. Um, to actually have something in your hands that all these other YouTubers have held and worked with um, is a very special thing. It is a very special thing. And I 
couldn't be more happy with how it all worked out. And the, the fact that they didn't get lost in the mail, <laughs> that they actually made it to their destinations, uh, was a feat in, in itself. Because if you remember, when COVID was happening, the mail system was crazy. It was crazy. Everything was so backed up. And because there was no workers, there was no, it, it was just insane. So the fact of the matter is, is that there was a higher power that came, went along with these hooks. You know, um, their journey was supposed to happen. It, it was meant to happen. So apparently I'm supposed to end this video. <laughs> I was editing this video and realized that the whole thing got cut. My, my ending got cut off. So yeah, <laughs> something weird is happening. So anyways, I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who was involved in this. And um, thank you for, for making it so special. And I guess that's it. Okay. Um, I will talk to you guys later. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll talk to you guys later. And I'm going to go. And I'm going to get a cup of tea. And I'm going to read my books and I'm going to cry my eyes out. <laughs> and I will catch up with you guys later. I love you all. Bye.